Guys, what's going on? It's Fursy here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see the packs and the numbers on them, uh, we are doing another experimental video today. Uh, we've got 50 packs of the uh, English uh, Crown Center set. Uh, we've weighted them and we have eight different weight class. Uh, all of them will be listed in the description below. Basically, I just separated each weight class by zero 0.5 gram and I hope that makes sense. Uh, so we've got eight of them here. We've got one pack that's especially heavy uh, We'll see whether or not it matters uh, If you are against weighing packs and you don't like this kind of content I would highly suggest you turn away right now and uh, check out all of our other content uh, in the description below We have opened tons of uh, the latest Japanese Scarlet and Violet sets So if you want to check out those opening uh, they will be in the description all right, uh, without further ado, uh, we've got a massive opening because we've got 50 packs, uh, 50 weighted packs. So let's see whether or not uh, the weight matters uh, for this particular set. Alrighty, starting things off, we've got 22.20 to 22.24. Uh, we've got five packs, which is the lightest class. Uh, so let's see how it goes uh, because I have no idea. Uh, a lot of people will say that the English uh, set doesn't matter uh, in terms of the weight. We'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. But what's what I think was special this about this set? I opened a box and I didn't realize there is uh, there is the I guess secret rare energy and reverse hollow energy as well. So. Uh, that's what kind of threw me away as we uh, our first pack here we got the Sashian and then uh, nothing there so just for this particular pack uh, light pack we just got a holo astro reverse holo as you would expect um, yeah so I, I don't know I, I don't I really don't know if the the weight plays a big part or not um, just because uh, I'm getting a little bit thrown off by the uh, by the by the true energy that is available or well, three types of energy that's available uh, in this particular set. All right, we've got a coughing here and a Zeora, and then nothing here. So so far with the really, really, really light packs, uh, we have zero hits. Um, I every time I do these videos, and you know, I kind of think that uh, the light, we always get really big hits in our light packs. So is this going to be the case uh, so far? Is a little bit different so far is a little bit different we'll see we'll see all right and then we've got a rock rough and then a reverse holo rare candy uh, so so far it's just the standard with the lightest again this is the 22.20 to 22.4 class so uh which no surprises uh nothing no big hits nothing particular we should be paying attention to Galarian Meow and then and Nyan Mega and then a Wilson there all right last pack for this particular class 22.24 uh, originally I was gonna put them in the in the 22.2 to 22.3 class but I thought uh, it'll be even better if we uh, you know separate it a little bit more so uh, hopefully that the result shows uh, and I think, uh, let me know in the comment section below whether 50 packs is a good sample size. As we end on with a Galarian Berserker here. So from our light packs, uh, we have no hits uh, except for the uh, reverse holo that comes with uh, every packs. Alright, moving up here, 22.25 as you can see to 22.29. Uh, let's see if it's a little bit different. Uh, so far, we open a lot of duds. So, but we are on the lighter lighter pack. So I guess, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, is that an expected result? Uh, we'll soon find out. Truby, Kyoga, and then nothing here. So another reverse hollow here. Um, I've seen. Obviously, this set has been out for a while. So I've seen people have done a few different videos here and there but I just didn't think the sample size was big enough that's why uh, we decided to go large uh, with opening up 50 packs in one go um, Dub Lele and then a seesaw there so hopefully with opening up 100 packs as well we uh, will be able to uh, pick up a few cards uh, and try to actually complete the master set uh, 
for this particular uh, set as well. All right, still an energy here. So this is, uh, you know, like I said, I opened a few boxes uh, already. I kind of get the feel of what this set is like. Uh, you can say it is similar to V-Star Universe at the same time it is not. Um, uh, which we will, I guess, do a bit of a battle as well uh, later on. Uh, just just see whether or not uh, which one is better. Or if there is a definitive answer as to which one is better. Alright. Keep going. Uh, Ryalu, Starly. Here, a Sky for... Oh! A gold card here. Uh, the Arceus... Uh, V star here. Wow. Okay. I guess uh, you know you be the judge in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the lightest pack, a lighter pack, uh, and we pull a gold card here. The gold Arceus V star. All right. Continuing on because we still have a uh, uh, I think majority majority of the of the cards fall in this uh, particular section here so very very nice actually getting the Arceus V star here and I was gonna say the centering looks not too bad but then the top and the bottom eh. so oh well all right guess just gonna go into the collection uh, oh well we've got a bay here with her signature on it and then we've got the uh, Ziora there so uh, very interesting they included these uh, uh, as well, so it, it really feels like they uh, try to um, what's the best word? Scramble for numbers uh, in terms of this particular uh, set because V Star Universe essentially is to reprint a lot of the popular cards, whereas this uh, is obviously you know a combination of different sets from the Japanese, and um, I was very very surprised uh, that we got these. Um, Signature series because these signatures were uh, sold in a box uh, for the Japanese version uh, compared to here. All right, we've got one big hit. We're gonna gold card here so far uh, from the lighter series, and again, you be the judge. I'm not gonna make any definitive answer as of yet. Maybe we, we will later on uh, as we get a Molga here and a Snorlax, but too much. Packs to go 22.28 here. Let's see if we have uh, any more big hits from the second lightest pack uh, in this set. All right, I got a seal, rock rough again, Aaron, Ralu, and then a Lunatone here. Uh, the one of the AR cards here, the Lunar Tone. So we did get another, I suppose, supposedly for English, another hit. Well done. All right, last pack here. Last pack here. Here we go. Last pack here. Oh, we've got the uh, V Star card, which we don't need. So let's see uh, what this last pack here. Lyron Tangela. Galarian Meow, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, uh, the Absol, and on Guru. Sorry, that Absol was the reverse holo here. Uh, kind of play trick on my play a bit of a trick on my eyes. So uh, for 22.25 to 22.29, we did actually get uh, two. Uh, we did actually get two hits here. One of which is the gold card. Very, very, very nice. All right, the next up is 22.30 to 22.34. Um, again, quite bulky. I think, like I was saying, the majority of the cards fall between the 22.3 and 22.4. So I guess we should be expecting majority uh, of the hit coming through uh, right around now. Uh, but hit, maybe by hit, so maybe just a V or these reverse holo uh, energy card here. Um, I actually don't know if these reverse holo or any of these energy cards will be uh, will be available to play uh, because they've changed the energy wording on some of the cards. So here you go. Uh, no idea why as well they uh, have reverse holo energy and the secret rare energy as well. 
we've got an Antinous here. Radiant Antinous, uh, very, very nice. Uh, I don't know if you would consider that a hit. Uh, I guess you should, right? Uh, a Radiant card here. Also a very, very, I've seen a lot of people playing this card. It's a very, very useful card, I suppose. All right, continuing on. No major hit. I think the major hit here is obviously the gold cards. And I was going to say the Charizard, but the Charizard is not included here. Um, I guess the trainer cards? I don't know. Um, I haven't really studied this set in detail, that's why. And we've got a Dance Farms here. Uh, and then the last guys are on the guru. I'm actually really trying to just complete the V Star Universe set first. But even that is pretty, pretty difficult to know the honest truth. Alright. Five more packs for this particular wave class. Let's see how it goes. So, so far we've got uh, Radiant. We've got the Radiant uh, Antlers. And then we've got the Dunspar. So, are we going to have more? Lunatone. Shinx. Lavesta. Oddish. And then another signature card. We've got Nessa signature card. And then and again, Mega here. So, Interestingly, we haven't pulled any of the V, any of the, the ordinary V cards. Um, so, I imagine, my prediction, I would imagine the the heavier packs may potentially be double hits, but double hits in terms of maybe a V card and maybe one of these AR cards. Uh, you wouldn't be anything uh, silly or big. A Chartot and then and yeah, Naga here. By the way, just opening up a few of these now. The print quality is absolutely shocking. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know how many PSA 10s are going to be uh, in these 50 packs, but I can assure you, not many. Uh, the print quality is pretty bad. Uh, the yellow bottom makes it very, very obvious. Uh, but at the same time, this is the last time ever. For a little while, I suppose uh, that Pokemon's going to have yellow borders. So there you go. All right, uh, last two packs. Not a lot of hits here uh, for 22.30234. Uh, we've got an Antonis and we've got one AR card. Rescue Carrier. Oops. Chartwort. Where I am, Mr. Mine, Sunken Bidoof, Mr. Coughing, and then, no, just a reverse hollow, an ordinary reverse hollow. Last pack for this weight class here. Here we go. I, uh, am hoping, hoping that we get some big hits here. It will be very, very nice to try to complete the gold card series as well. You've obviously got the Arceus now. Uh, I think I pulled the Palkia in another box. Uh, and then, so two, and I guess two more to go. Alright, with that said, um, the 22.30 into 22.34 class, uh, we did get a Radiant card, we did get an AR card, but nothing really out of the ordinary uh, that we would be shouting about um, but we are continuing marching on to heavier and heavier now it's 22.35 to 22.39 so we're marching towards the heavier packs and it certainly does feel like uh, we should be getting better hits as we're going on uh, we'll see how it goes Shaman, Duncan, Bidoof, Coughing, and a BD signature here. Alright, so nothing from that pack. And uh, I actually haven't done a, a big opening like these, uh, opening up 50 packs in one go. So this is certainly, hopefully as well, uh, cure the... Uh, the packs addiction <laughs> potion a rulu here just an ordinary reverse holo right four from the back come on 
Red Candy Luxio, Lou, Shinx, and Champ. We got a Marie, which is nice. Marie. And then we got a lots of things. This Marie yeah, is obviously part of the uh, the nine puzzle special <laughs> AR uh, that you can only put in the God Pack here. Uh, interesting how they have uh, separated all nine of them uh, in Crown Zenith. It'll be really fun, actually. I think it'll be really fun to if they uh, done the same thing in Crown Zenith. So make a particular God Pack that includes all nine of these cards. So I thought it would have been a great idea. But they decided not to do that, which I guess makes it hard to even... Wow! Another one! Wow! Wow, so we've got two Palkia gold card now. Uh, so, wow, here we go. I, uh, was ho I saw the gold border and I was hoping it would have been one of the other ones, but... Don't complain when you pull gold card. Uh, that's my life philosophy. So, Origin Palkia there, very, very nice. Uh, another one of these. Uh, don't complain. All right. So this is the three five to three nine class, and we pull a gold card here. And no, nope. well, our first actually V card here. Um, I didn't imagine there would be a lot of V cards here. So there you go. All right. So for, I think for this card for Japanese or for the Chinese version, for Japanese anyway, uh, this is a gym promo card and you can only uh, get it when you, I guess, join one of the local tournaments here. What do we have here? We have a Rylu here. By the way, uh, you know, the quality on these cards are pretty bad because you can just look at the lettering, right? Like it looks, it actually looks bad. Like I, I, I don't even know how to best put it. It looks bad. <laughs> uh, compared to the Japanese version, um, I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't say it like that. But it, it does look really bad. The, whereas the Japanese version is absolutely amazing. How the nine cards are put together. All right, last pack for this weight class. Uh, any more surprises? Uh, nope, we've got a potion here. So, the heavier end of the 30s, we did get a gold card here, and we did get uh, two of these AR here, and a V card. So, we're moving up the weight class now. We're moving up the weight class. So, does it mean we are expecting a, a little bit more hit? A little bit more hits. Uh, we've got 22.40 to 22.44. Okay, so 22.40 to 22.44. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun opening up these. So again, I haven't opened English card for a long time. And at the same time, I haven't opened cards of this sheer amount uh, for a long time. So this is absolutely... I'm loving it. Alright, uh, what's going on here? Uh, maybe that's just a uh, printing error. Um, and of course, uh, not going to be worth much. And an Absol, so straight off the bat, we get a uh, AR uh, card here from the 22.40 class. Um, is that where we are going to start getting uh, something in every pack? As this is uh, getting towards the heavier end now, whoops, sorry. And Matang, Tone. Coughing, Berlin, Grubbin. Oh, nothing here. Oh! Ho -ho! Holy smoke! And this cut looks really good. This cut looks perfect in terms of centering. Let us know in the comment below. I feel like this cut looks pretty, pretty, pretty good in terms of centering here. Wow, okay. Uh, that's two big hits here. Wow, I guess I had actually forgot about this card. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty happy actually getting this card here. 
this, uh, getting this one here. I've completely forgotten about it. The centering looks really good, actually. Um, so this is definitely going to go straight to the grading pile, uh, which uh, I think it's time. It's time of the year where we're actually going to uh, talk about grading again, uh, do an updated video on how to grade your cards. Uh, we might actually do two this time. Uh, we might actually do one for uh, PSA and one for BGS, so make sure to stay tuned. All right, fire energy. I'm pretty happy with uh, with this particular uh, pool here. The Pikachu here looks absolutely amazing. Of course, this card is only available in the uh, in the premium box, uh, the black premium box uh, for both Japanese and Chinese, and it's pretty expensive. And wow, our first SAR uh, is a Hisuian Samara. Now, this lettering looks pretty fake. <laughs> I have to say. I'm gonna have to zoom in on the lettering. This looks, this kind of lettering, looks like the one that they use on fake cards. Um, let us know in the comment. Uh, this uh, the samurai here looks absolutely like the ones in the uh, in for for fake cards. I don't know. I don't know. You you tell me. You tell me. All right, but we are one thing. Uh, as an experiment, it does feel like we are getting uh, bigger hits, if that makes sense, uh, in the heavier side of things. So, again, oh, and Mew here, okay, and getting a lot more hits. Uh, again, I don't want to make a definitive answer uh, as of now, uh, but this is where we are at the moment. All right, last pack here, 22.42. I'll let you guys be the judge. I'll let you guys be the judge. All right, 22.42 as our last pack here. Card of Wine, the Lost Vacuum, Lyron, Execute, Energy, Retrieval, Love, Disc. Oh, another Antonis, and an Eevee here. So this Eevee here is from the, uh, the, the Starter deck here, very very cute Eevee. I don't actually starter deck or from the Koro Koro magazine. I can't exactly remember, but we did get another and uh, radiant into this. I think there is the radiant Charizard here as well, right? All right, um, we did pretty well actually. So uh, this is the heaviest side, twenty two point four zero to four four. Uh, we've got a couple of hits, and more noticeably, we've got this amazing amazing Pikachu here, which I believe is. Pretty well centered, uh, no scratches here, so uh, I'm gonna put it on the side. All right, uh, going into 22.45 to 22.48, uh, I just realized that our face camera wasn't working, so hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> so, which is okay because as long as the card camera was working, it's fine, it's fine. We captured the best moment and the uh, main characters. All right. Moving on, 22.45 to 22.49 class. Okay, all right. I was, uh, I, I had a heart, bit of a heart attack, to tell you the honest truth, um, because uh, the, I, I, when I saw the face camera wasn't working, I thought the card camera wasn't working as well, but the card camera uh, have in fact captured every single moment so far, so I'm pretty, pretty happy and pretty blessed. Uh, kind of moving along. All right. Uh, we. Uh, I'm expecting big hits. I'm expecting all the SAR is coming from uh, this side here. We get another Marib here and a Sarut. All right. So my expectation is we should be getting a hit at least for every single pack here. I think we open one. We've got two, four, six. We've got eight packs. So I'm expecting. At least a something something uh, from each of these eight packs because we are moving into the really or well, the heavier so now. So let's see if my prediction prediction is correct. Iron, execute, love this, Moga, Yanma, Parwan, Evoltor, and a Valcona here. Yeah, Alright, so we do get an AR hit here. Leave that up. Okay, so we're two of two. 
Yeah, two or two from this particular cast. Alright, third pack. Lunatone. Carrier. It's a lazzle. Cherubi. Execute. Rock Rock. And nope. Maybe Shap, but 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 we do get a Hatterene V here, I suppose. Uh, normally you wouldn't call this a hit in uh, in in Japanese, but there it is. So three of three, three of three. I'm gonna call it a hit in English. Getting a V card here. Oh, I already know we've got something here. Shaman friends, rock rough, Tangela. I think we're really lucky to get that. Pikachu cut in really good centering because if you've seen some of the the borders here, it's absolutely shocking. Shinx and then a Greedent V. So another V card. So I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it four of four. Four of four. Alright, we've got four more packs. Uh surprisingly, surprisingly, we've only pulled one SAR card, which is that historian. Samurott, which looks like a fake. Just the, the spacing was very different. And it feels like they've used another font. And we've got a Leon. I almost called a Leron. A Leon. So, oh, so we've got a hop here as well. A hollow rare and a reverse hollow. Uh, probably wouldn't count that, but. You know, the holo pattern does maybe potentially weigh a little bit heavier. So that's why it was in the heavy side. I don't know. Alright, we've got fighting energy. I think I've saw something here. Welma, Shinx, Levesta, Oddish, a seal. Do we have? Nope. But we do have another Eevee here. We have another Eevee right here. Okay, so we are, well, we are, I don't know, we're five of, five of, five of six, five of six. Oh, absolutely butchered the opening here. Hope we didn't damage the card. All right. Lighting energy, solar rock, Lux Leo, send it. Gribbon. Alright, it feels like we do have something here. Uh, and we have insurance care. And a Zero V Star here. So double hit for this particular one. Uh, which is a 22.48. So get definitely on the heavier side here. So we've got two hits here. Alright, last pack here. And I'm gonna sleeve that insurance care a little bit later. Let's see how it goes. Let's oop. Oops. Sorry, oops. I just need my marker, making sure. Rolo, Young Goose, Cherubi, Starly, Switch, a Double, and a Mew. All right, so we're gonna count it, right? Because uh, the card doesn't appear that often, uh, as often as they are in Japanese. So this is uh. This is interesting. This is definitely interesting because uh, we've got quite a number of cards here. So from 22.45 to 22.49, we definitely uh, got a lot more cards. So let's put that away. All right, last but not least. Sorry, this is not last. But this is the heavier, he heavier cards. 22.50 to 22.5. Four. Okay, 22.50 to 22.54 uh, Because we do have this 22.6 here which will open last uh, Now, if this follow what we just happened now We should be getting something here We should be getting something At least some sort of V cards, I would like to think Execute We got a Comfy and a V card, and a Rotom V here. All right. 
we are going to push on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll sleeve these bad boys up a little bit later on. All right. Here we go. We should be getting another AR here. Maybe another V. Possibly a V. Skyfer. Rylou. A Hooper. And a Reggie Gigas V Star here. All right, so I don't know. You tell me. You tell me whether or not this matters. You tell me. All right, I'm not gonna. I don't want to make that call. I'm too scared to make that call. But uh, well, we have 50 packs here, so you let us know. All right, Sunken, Bidoof. Deoxy, no hits, but we've got a Nessa here, so, alright, so far every pack's had something, right, if I'm not mistaken, so far every pack had something. There we go, we've only got a few more packs left, this has been an extravaganza of an opening, and the results are, you know, a little bit uh, surprising, I would say, I would say surprising. All right, a rock rough, and then nothing. Illumitone here. Do we have a Charizard V here? All right, uh, definitely a hit. Uh, it's Charizard, right? <laughs> Where am I gonna put Charizard? We'll put Charizard here. We'll put Charizard here. Okay. All right, two more packs left. Two more packs left. Two more packs left. Again, not a lot of SAR cards. Uh, the Hooper was the, the second one that we pulled. A lot of ARs. And we've got another one here. I almost forgot about this one. This one looks very fake. Uh, and a Mewtwo Holo Rare. Uh, a 3 volt here. Alright, last pack. 22.54. If I'm not mistaken, we should be at least getting a, uh, a V card or something, something here. Or a holo card or something nice. Aeron, Corkish, Energy. Oh, we already saw it. And oh, we got the Pikachu. And then we've got an Entei here. Wow, nice. We've got the, uh, we've got the centering piece uh, of that nine card puzzle. All right, so. As kind of expected, the 22.5 to 22.54 class, we did get a lot of hits. Last but not least, uh, rounding up this particular video, we got a 22.60 here. For a particular reason, this is really heavy compared to the rest. So our expectation for this pack is we should be at least getting an AR card here. So let's see how it goes. All right, we've got an energy. A Gloom, a Great Ball, Graveler, oh I see something shiny, so Larry Mr. Mine, Sunken, Bidoof, Coughing, alright what's behind here? A, wow a very very miscut, a off-centered Deoxy V-Star, <laughs> you can see the 8-2 sides or the 9-1 and then a way quasar v max here we go so no surprise there the heaviest pack uh of uh of the more of the 50 packs here we've got two uh cards that have texture on them so let us know your thoughts all right guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed this particular video uh let us know in the comment section down below uh whether or not you think the weight matters for this particular set uh we opened 50 packs and i don't want to say it but it does feel like the weight matters a little bit because as we went towards the heavier stuff we start to see uh, a hit for every pack whether it's a v card whether it's an ar cards sar so forth and so forth uh, I don't want to admit it, um, and I'm not going to call it. I'll let you. I'm open for discussion in the comment section down below. Let us know your thoughts. If you did enjoy this video uh, and found this educational experiment uh, interesting, 
give us a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell for the latest videos and updates. With that said, if you are also opening up some Crown Zenith, uh, I hope that you guys have fun. I'm channeling some luck to you guys because may the God of Pools be with you always.